Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to yet another episode of Gold Rush. Um, let's see, we have some things we've got to do. Um, one of them is repairing the shaker up here. So, um, I think I took a spring out in the last episode. Yes, I did. Um, I don't know. Whoops. Need the crowbar, don't we? Man, I hope... Okay, I don't think we have to fix those. I think it's just the, uh, the yeah, this one, and hopefully we'll be good. Let's just drop that. We actually have quite a bit to do um, this episode, and, and that's before we get to mining. So if you guys, okay, let's see. Yeah, it's fixed. So let's take this back. We'll get a couple hundred bucks for it. We have to set this stuff up, and I am really hoping that I can do it with the front loader because I'm not sure that I can. And that's going to be a problem uh, if we can't. Um, okay, so we'll have to pick it up from this direction because it goes from the hopper, which will be over here, up, and then into the wash plant. So, let's move the pickup truck. And I just realized I'm, I might actually have to go back into town and buy a... Let's see. What I'm going to do, I'm going to park him here. We're going to put the brights on there. I might actually have to go into town and buy more generators. I could use this generator right here, um, but I have to run both, I think the hopper and the, I know the um, uh, the conveyor uses a generator, so uh, let's see, alright, this might be kind of hairy here, I want to see if I can do this with, Matt. oh wait, Gosh. I really hope I can do it with this. Um, uh, I guess we'll find out. Oh, gosh. <gasps> Uh-oh. I don't know. All right, I'm going to let him idle here. And we're going to see. I might need some of these longer cables. Nope, oh, so far so good. Now can I get... Eh. Can I get this one connected over to here? Oh my gosh! We are doing it with the short cables. Uh, this one. Oh, I thought if anyone wasn't going to work, it was going to be that one. Oh, this is going to be full tier three. All right. Oh no. Wait. I just realized I can't lift up any more than. Oh god. <laughs> this is going to be so. Oh gosh. Oh man, and I got those pumps in the way too. I'm gonna see if I can just drag this up into position. Let's get these pumps out of the way. Um, oh. 
Uh, dang it, you saving game, you. Oh, man. If I can get this in here, I am going to be so proud of myself. Whoa. That's not good. Oh, it's so, we're so close. No. Okay. I got it. I got some ideas here. Okay. So if we put that Here's the broken. Actually, do they not break anymore like they used to? I'm just going to lay him there for now. Okay, we'll keep that there. Oh, maybe it was this one up here that broke. Where did it break? Oh, there it is. Doesn't look broken. Okay, so what we're going to do here, and I wish I had some light on here, oh, because I feel like I can't see anything. I'm just going to see if I can push it into position. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Wait a second. It's I'm, it's like completely backwards. No. Oh no. How did it get swapped switched around? I thought we were Ugh. What the heck? Pick up. <clears throat> okay, well, I kind of shafted myself on that one. So what I'm going to have to do, I guess, is we're going to have to come up here. Oh gosh, how am I even going to do this? I, I got a feeling I'm going to have to push the top of the conveyor like right here. We're going to have to push that around somehow. Black right about sure. <gasps> Gosh, that actually worked really well. Um, Alright, well. Well, if you need to know why it's a good idea to have that um, large excavator. <gasps> Boom! Right there. We got it. We got it. Down on the farm. Alright. Um, let's uh, clip the extra cables on the, on the front here. So all we will have to do... Where's the other one? There it is. Okay. So yeah, that's ready to go. Yeah, see there is a, a power connector there. Is this the bad hydraulic hose? I think this is a bad hydraulic hose. Yep, all right. So now, let's just sell that. Uh oh, we're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to pull this around too, and I got to get this thing out of the way. All right, I'm gonna need to get the pickup truck. Let's see, enter, 
He is for enter. So I guess first things first is I'll pull that tra the small trailer out of the way. Working at night. I don't know where I should really put this thing, but... Right here seems about right about right about now. Um, yeah, we'll pull the uh, we'll pull this guy out of the way. Um, I have had several of you comment that I should clean this out because the bucket is seventy eight percent full. the 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 thing is, is it's not even worth it because I got to set up water and power to it which i mean isn't really the biggest deal on the in the world but um it's just not worth it to me it's not worth my time to do it so let's put it in the garage here protecting it from the winter cold i think Okay. Now this one will def we should be able to I hope we'll be able to pick up. Of course, we might not be able to just by looking at this. I'm thinking we're probably not going to be able to. We might have to drag this one into position too. Which honestly is not ideal. I was not hoping to have this issue. All right, so there's that motor. All right. Oh, wrong way. Now these I don't re I don't think the either of these require power or I'm sorry water. They just require power. And there we go. How much power? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> we'll find out here in a second. Let's get this guy out of the way. Oh, this is this is going to be such a game changer. I remember when these these uh, metal cables like they would break and they were, or they would glitch and oh they were you know once they broke like you were pretty much up a creek um, <laughs> so uh, I'm very happy that they're working well now all right so we're gonna have to do some work in the dark up here I think.
All right. I'm going to go grab one of these lights here. Because this area is going to be very dark. Just like that. I think I have some kit. Yep, there's one right there. And we'll go and get... Uh, oh, man. I don't know if I have enough of the big blue cables. I should have one. I don't know if I have two. Okay, that... So if one of these only uses 150, I'll be able to get, you know, I'll be able to pull off of those. Oh, I didn't even think about the extra power cable. So I definitely have one here. All right, what I'm going to do I'm going to connect this up and I'm going to I'm just going to connect it over to this guy. That takes 500. Oh no. This is not good. How much does this take? Oh, I can't power that off of this. Okay, so that takes two fit. How am I going to power that? If that takes 500 to power, then we're screwed. Why? Why? Is there a second plug or something in there? I swear to freaking God that if I have to if I have to buy that big power thing. Oh my god. I think we're going to have to get the big power thing. The ju the big uh, power trailer. Um... I might just have to rent it. But, oh man. I'm so disappointed right now. You guys have no... Whoop! Oh. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to do is I wanted to look in here. I wanted to look in the tent and check out... Can't... Yeah, the, so this tablet thing isn't working. Um, I want to check, whoops, Oop. oh. 48%. So those are not in the best of shape. I'm thinking what I actually might want to do is fill up this. And then fill up the hopper 
Oh wait, there's like a okay, this thing right here. Or is it this one? Okay, maybe where's the sprayer? One of those sprayers I thought we had to um repair. Alright, well we're gonna have to go into town and I've only got like just under fifteen grand. I have no gold in in the waiting. And we're going to have to look into pot potentially either a larger generator trailer or renting that large, like the big generator trailer, which I've never actually used before, which in all, in all honesty, it's probably about time that we switched over to that just because it's going to be more efficient, I think. And we won't have to be running like all over, you know, all over the, the map to be turning on like all kinds of different doohickeys. <laughs> you know, we can just go and like flip one or two switches. I actually, I've never, well, no, I take that back. I did use one a long time ago. And then it was right around that time that I stopped playing. So. I might have only used it for like one play session, which I don't think I recorded or live streamed. So uh, we'll see what happens here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the big two hour episode that I did uh, just in the, the last episode before this. Um, if you did, let me know. If you didn't, also let me know. I, I always like to hear what you guys are talking about. Okay, light system trailer. See, that would be nice if I could just buy one of these. Let's see, we got fuel tanks. Like, we need, like, a, tr like a small trailer generator. You know, like, you would think, I would think, that they would have those. Because, unfortunately, we can't put two of these together. Because that's just not how electricity works. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, the other power cable. Let's buy one of those. I'm actually very glad I remembered that. Oh, and how much are those pump things for the... Yeah, those things are flipping expensive. Okay. What about a chain? Trommel chain? I feel like... Wait, I think we bought a, a reinforced trommel chain, didn't we? It's been a while back, but I thought we did. <sighs> okay. Uh... All right, so we're going to have to come over here, and there's this big trailer right here. I think this is it. We, yeah, which is the big power generator. Oh, it's actually a lot less expensive than I thought it would be. Um, we're going to say one. We're going to rent it. We're going to order that. <clears throat> and then we're going to move it over. Ugh. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like early in the morning right now, so I still have like phlegm voice, which I know is like really scrumptious for you to, or for me to tell you about, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> now, I don't remember how we have to fuel this thing up. I think, I think you actually order fuel directly from like the side of it or inside of it maybe I just don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it yet
All right, so there she goes. Well, she's got some fuel in it already. She's about 20%. Um, all right, let's jump in here. And I've got to get the chains and everything out. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it... Let's see here. So I want... I think I'm going to put it, like, up here. I hope I'm going to be able to fit it around here. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it, like, right in here somewhere. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if we can, like, set it up here. Uh, well, I'll figure something out, I guess. Um, all right. And again, I think, I guess I'm going to have to drag this thing around, which I'm not too excited about doing. Because I think these are the shortest, shortest cables that we have. Yeah, see, like that. It's going to have to pull it gent. Oh, gosh. Is it going to tip over? Wow. Oh, now I'm going the wrong way. Am I going to be able to tow it? I don't know if I'm going to be able to tow it in between all this stuff. Come on. I'm trying to go really gently because I don't want to break the cable. Yeah, see, I think I'm going to have to tow it like right through here. Oh, gosh, that scared me. Okay, I'm going to have to... Oh, gosh. Yeah, let's get... Let's get this trailer out of the way, first of all. And I'm going to have to move that other water trailer... See, like, look, if we go, see, there's all start, and then I don't know, let's see, big power generator, there's, yeah, so we have one, two, three, what the heck is that on the side? So we got one, two, three, four, five large blue connectors. Cut here. What? Oh, that's for the fuel line, I think. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four is this one, and then. <clears throat> Do we have another? I think that's the only one we need. I think it's just those. Um, 
All right, let's okay. Let's just kind of get stuff out of the way. I'm gonna pull this up a little bit further. I'm I'm actually hoping to get something done today, so I don't know. We'll see. I was hoping to at least get a scoop, but we're going. This episode's starting to get a lot longer than I was anticipating. Oh, wait. I just want to kind of move this stuff out of the way here. Okay. The water source is dried up. Well, that's all. That's too bad. Okay. What? Uh, okay, I guess I guess I had the lights turned on. Um, all right, so let's find out where this We broke the cable. Where do we break it? Uh-oh. That one looks to be beyond repair. Okay. Uh oh. Oh wait, there it is. I think I'm gonna have to kind of pull this further down. In order to connect it, all right. So I think if I pull it like over here, okay, <clears throat> that's as high as she's going. So what I'm going to do now, Is we'll go we'll go around to the other side and then we'll connect the cables up so that um, we can flip the uh, the generator back up back upright. Actually, can I, no. Ah. Whatever you do, don't hire me to come work on your construction site because, as you can clearly see, I'm not prepared. All right, so this one we will clip right there. This one you will clip right here and using basic physics, which this game will completely ignore in almost every way, we're going to just 
pull this right back up like that. All right. So now, ooh, can I climb up this ladder? Oh, <gasps> I can. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I guess that is where I connected to. Um, all right. So I think... I just want to reposition this a little bit. So let's see. Let's go. Okay. Not quite what I was hoping for. Come on, go forward. That's about what I was hoping for. Okay. Phew. What a mess. All right, so we're going to go, so this is the, this will be the conveyor belt, bonk, okay, this is going to be the trommel. This will be the shaker. Oh, cool. It actually labels them. That's nice. Daddy-like. Okay, wait. Did I get the blue cable out of here? I did not. Okay. Now, kind of the only thing that I would want to do in on top of this would be to, oh yeah, here we go. I don't know if this cable is going to be long enough. I hope that it is. So, with a single flip of the wrist, I should be able to turn everything on. And that is huge. Okay. So now all we have to do is set our water back up. So, let's see. Okay, so this tank is full. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay. So now, okay, let's pull this up. So I don't think we're going to need this. Because again, no water goes on here. This is all just dry. It's all dried up. Okay, so he's full.
I'm just going to set these aside for right now. Okay. He goes, um, all right. So now we got to move the water pump, the large water pump. Probably just drive, yeah, let's just drive it around. I think backing it up was just going to be way too much of a pain. Ooh, and I see one of the cables there so we'll pop that in there all right so this is gonna go okay the input is there better be on a flat surface now there we go <laughs> Okay, so he should be all ready. And we just need to disconnect the... I'm going to put the cables in the truck over here. Oh. All right. And I think we're actually ready to get started. I think we can finally probably need to wrap these up too. I can turn this off. All right. So, okay, so before I get everything kind of up and going here, um, oh, wait. I kind of want to see how, whoa. There we go. been a while since I've driven one of these so I kind of just want to see <gasps> Ooh, look how the ramp smoothed out look at that that must have been like a product of the save like when I saved the game because <laughs> I can tell you it didn't look this good before well it's not totally smooth but I do think it looked a it looks a little bit better So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him right there. And we're going to head down. And we're going to fill up the, the dump truck and we'll just drive the dump truck back. And we'll just plop it right into the um, into the uh, little hopper for it. Oh, wait a second. Remember, I don't want to.
get dirt from the bottom. I want to get it from this as high up as I possibly can. Um, let's go down here. What? I thought that used to fill the thing up about 20%. Um, oh, don't please have a fuel tank back here. Oh, thank gosh. <clears throat> okay. All right, so we're just going to start digging then. And we'll clear out. I do kind of, well, wait a second. Okay, that got us up to 24. So this is actually going to be even better. So instead of it being like four scoops, this thing is probably going to hold like eight. So this is going to be scoop number three, I think. This is going to be tough. We might have to dig out some of the stuff down below here just so we can get our, our wheels close enough. to the good like where I think the good stuff is or the you know the medium stuff I think that was scoop number four, which puts us at about 50%. So I'm just going to go scoop this stuff right here. So yeah, that's going to be eight scoops. Or thereabouts. Sixty one, what? I don't even think that was a full scoop. Oh my gosh. Just go down. What?
All right. <clears throat> so about another scoop and a half. If that sounds right to you guys. Oh, no. Angle it down a little bit. The heck? Yeah, we'll just get like a I was going to think I was going to say we'll just get like a small scoop, but I don't think that's going to work. All right, so up we go. Oh, look at that. He goes right up there. Come on there. I love how there's like water puddles in the dirt on the top of this thing. Watch the lantern. All right, I'm gonna be, this is gonna be really interesting. Now, I don't remember how to, okay. Y and B are bed up and down. All right. Okay. Bed up. Okay, so that actually filled that up completely, which I'm kind of impressed with by... All right, let's let's just kick this on. Kick him on. Kick him on. That should be all the water. Uh-oh. Need to plug or connect these up again. Okay. Uh, stand up there, buddy. <laughs> Let's go up this way. I think it's a little bit faster. All right, so he's all ready to go. We'll just be able to kick this on for just a moment, I think. So there's 87, 86. Actually, that takes a lot... Okay, there we go. Now he's going, ah! All right, let's, um... Let's go. Oh, gosh. All right, so I think I think kind of what I want to do is let's get some more of the the pay dirt sloping down so I can actually make that area a little bit wider. Right? Does that make sense? You guys are like, nothing you say makes sense, Brad. You should know better than to ask that question. <laughs> you 
Go! Oh, this thing seems so freaking underpowered. Alright, so... Okay, so water source is dried up again. I'm not really so worried about that at the moment. Okay. Look at that. That was re that's really good. Really happy with that um that scoop. And We almost need like a roller or something. <laughs> ah, don't get stuck. See how you get like the little waves in the soil? And that actually tends to happen when, you know, you're going up and... Oh gosh, that was a lot less than I thought I would get in there. Um, that actually tends to happen when... Oh, this is so slow. When the wheels dip down into like the little dig ruts that you make while you're, you know, while you're digging, and the whole, you know, X or the whole front loader kind of bounces up and down. Okay. Okay, let's kind of go for over here a little bit. I don't want to go too far over there because I don't want to screw up my my um, ride home or my path, you know, back up. Oh. Yeah, this one's going to take nine scoops. Limited water pump filter. Pfft. Okay, those cost about twenty, you know. Pennies on the dollar, so not too worried about those. See, like we're stuck in this little rut here. Oh, somebody wants to work for me. They've heard about me. But I don't think the... Um, I don't think the tablet's working, so we need an IT guy now, I guess. <laughs> I swear, if I see a, like a a worker, like a you know hired worker that says like t you know guy to run the tablet or something, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm going to be out. So 
So this is working quite well, I think. Widening out this little trench. Yeah, so about two more scoops. One full scoop, and I don't know, we'll see what else we can get. Let's see if we can just run this down over here. Gosh. That totally did not work as expected. And we'll just get like another kind of, another scoop. Not a kind of scoop, but a scoop. Let's just kind of just kind of back up here for a second. <laughs> All right. I'm quite sure we will have worked through. I, let's see. Our, I bet our wash plants are up to about twenty percent. Does that sound about right? Yeah, 19%. So we're do, we're looking at about 5 truckloads. Do you see how this works? You see why this is such a huge time saver? So we'll do a couple, we'll try to smooth this out a little bit more with this next truckload. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of turn it in here. As to be in a good position, whoops. Takes a second to to switch to the uh, vehicles here. If we can ah, zoom out, just there we go. Okay. 
Do, 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 do. What? Thought we would have had more in there after three scoops. Boy, was I wrong. Right. So I guess now, um, well, the other thing I was thinking of, too, is maybe we should start digging out from the front, um, even though we're going to have lighter cleanouts, it might be faster. And then I wouldn't have to dig or, you know, worry so much about digging all these crazy trenches and ramps and stuff. Because obviously this kind of slows things down too, I, I think. Okay, let's... I think I'm going to try to smooth this bottom part right in here out. Oh gosh. Uh-oh, I might have just really shafted myself, actually. Oh, maybe not. Let's, um... See that really dark part right there? I'm kind of worried that that's going to be, like, a big speed bump. Gosh, it's already fourteen fifty So what I think we're going to have to do, because it's it's getting late, and we did take up a, a quite considerable part of the day in the game here, putting together all you know the the last bits of the tier three equipment. Um, I think we should go. Fuel is okay. Don't scare me. Don't scare me like that. All right, so here's the moment of truth. Can we get up here? Yes. So 
So now we should be close to about 40%. So we got 38. All right. So uh, we might be able to get a full load. Gosh, this is so much faster. I mean, could you imagine having to make... I mean, we're literally all the time that we were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And now we don't have to do that. Oh, this is such a huge time saver. A little bit right chair. Oh, and my engine sounds just glitched. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm trying to think if I want to drive the the front loader all the way back to the front of the claim to refuel or if I just want to get the pickup truck and kind of drive it back here. Oh, this is this is so annoying when the sounds glitch out. So slow. So this is going to put us, this bucket load will put us at about 75% full. And I do have the feeling that I'm going to want to do a clean out and go into town. Okay. Oh, this is so annoying not having the vehicle sound. Oh. Two more scoops, I think, and we'll be... F or no. About three more, I think. And then we'll have to drive the front loader up top to await fuel. This big 
hump right here. My hump, my hump, my hump. Alright, good enough. So the nice thing I can do actually when I get up here is shut the power off to everything. Well, actually not. Because we're still going to be processing pay dirt. All right. But look at that. I mean, we're going to be pretty much 75% or so. All right, so let's take the fuel back here and we'll fuel up our front loader and then we'll be we'll be able to, we'll be able to do one more load, I think. And I have absolutely no clue how I'm even doing on time right now. Um There we go. Yeah, we'll have plenty of time to do one more load in this day and still have a cleanup and still be able to get started on the next day. All right. Wait, the lights are on? I guess they are. Okay, so while that's fueling, let's go... Yeah, so there's 68% I can see over there. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I thought the engine was off. Okay. I just think I should buy like another fuel tank. I really honestly do. Oh wait, don't <laughs> don't drive off just yet, Brad. We know what happens when you forget the fuel line or the fuel uh, nozzle. What? Yay, we have our sound back. Okay, so what I'm going to do here... All right. 
so one more dump truck load and we'll, then we'll do our clean out because we'll be up in we're not going to be a hundred percent but we'll be up you know into the <clears throat> I, I think that the the wash plan will be up in the you know around ninety percent, and then tomorrow in game, you know this might go so fast, you know as long as we don't have any major breakdowns, and unfortunately since the tablet's broken, um, there could be stuff broken down right now that I don't even know about. Which would really suck. I just, I'm trying to make more ground room over here. Okay. And I'm just playing Crash Up Derby with the dump truck at the moment, unfortunately. Okay. See, I need to kind of pick up this stuff down here at the very base. do kind of the same thing right over here I think do, 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 do. So now our next goal is definitely 100%. <clears throat> it's going to be buying this uh, front loader, finally. Okay, one more load. I think we'll be okay. And actually, let's kind of take out this little triangle, triangular doohickey right here. Because um, this has been bugging me for a while. What? Okay, I thought we would have had... <laughs> I thought we would have been able to get a lot more from that. All right. Um, lights are out. Uh oh. There's that speed bump I was telling you about. Go.
And our claim is all dark. I'm taking out the light. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, so. Wait, did I shut this guy down? Turn on the engine, okay. It's kind of hard to hear with like everything, <laughs> with everything around here. Um, all right, let's kind of move this out of the way. Put him over there for right now. Um, oh, we had... There we go. We had this guy. He's got the power splitter in the back that I can use to... Um, Oh, I can shut him off, too. Let's fill these two guys up really quick. Boom. 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 Oh, crap. But I need another blue cable, don't I? Shoot. Okay. Well, that's going to go on there. Let's see here. This guy's going to go back over here. This guy's going to get turned on. Oh. Yeah, see, they're at 93%. So now what I can run... Oh, actually, it's going to be probably more like 94%. 94. He's got 5% to go. And he's empty. 99, 94, 94%. All right. So we're, you know, that's kind of going to be our number. So let's shut him off. Let's shut him off. Is this still, is the water still dried up? All right, I'll just let him run. I think our water's still dried up. This one will need to run. So he's gonna go, he's gonna turn on. Okay. All right, so let's hope for like 500 magnetite out of this. We're never going to get that, but <laughs> here's for hoping. If we get over 200, I will be very happy. Because that means we're going to have a nice chunk of uh, gold in here. Okay, 
So this is all empty. So this goes right into the magnetite separator. Right here. Two hundred twenty-eight, so that's good. So that's probably going to be sixteen ounces, fifteen ounces. If I have to guess, which will probably be wrong, maybe it'll only be like twelve ounces. Oh, come on, get in there. Sixteen point three six ounces. My first guess was correct which I'm rather impressed by. Um, let's, while we're cleaning those out, let's dump this. Wow, 19 magnetite already. That's probably close to a thousand. Oh, whoops. Oh gosh, wait. Oh, I screwed that up, didn't I? Okay, water source is flowing again. I think I have to dump both of these. So 0.67, so this will be another 0.67. So that's about 1.3 ounces of uh, gold from these guys. One point three four ounces. Let's clean out. I just want to kind of see 32. Yeah, we're going to need some new duplex jig pumps here soon. So I'll probably buy those when I go into town. Just to have it the ready. Ooh, 57 ounces of magnetite. I, th I think we usually only get like 40 maybe? 37 to 40? I don't know. I don't know these things. Are you kidding? Okay, so those guys should be ready. Um, so 31 ounces of gold, which is pretty good. Do the cleanup here.
Get these last two mats. Ooh, nice. So that's going to be eight ounces of gold from just those hog pan mats. Or from the miners. Oh. Kind of made it. <laughs> Eight point three, nice. Wait, where did the extra point oh two come from? Twenty five percent full of magnetite, which is really good. <clears throat> I don't know, that might give us like fifteen hundred or something. It would be nice if the magnetite, like the ratio of magnetite that you get, was somehow predictable, but it's kind of not. Oh. Okay. And that is the cleanup. Whoop. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> so we should have about 16 more ounces. So we're going to be close to 60 ounces total. Point three five ounces. And 20, I was kind of hoping that we would get up to 30%, but not quite. Um, Uh-oh. All right, so that's everything we got. Oh, we actually did break 60 ounces. Very nice. Very happy about that. All right, let's head into town. And then we will be done with this episode. Um, oh, I want to... Come on. I want to fuel up all of my... Tank... My tank... My fuel tanks out here. <clears throat> I get over to here? No. Nope. Oh, really? It's like a foot too far. All right, let's see how... Yeah, we'll, we'll let him keep pumping. The water tank should be stopped, though. Should be stopped at all costs. And I guess we'll also go ahead and fill up the the dump truck while we're up here too. And then we'll 
go get our money. Actually, I don't even really need that much money. I'll probably need about 20,000. And I don't I do not remember at all where the fuel tank is on this. I guess we'll find out here in just a moment. It will light up somewhere. There we go. Oh, come on. Well, this is really good. We're, we're really, I'm really happy with the setup and everything. What did I do with my other bucket? Oh, the magnetite buckets in the thing. So can I use this one? The tank is fully refueled. All right, let's go ahead and shut all this off. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to look in there really quick. Okay, so he's running. Oh gosh, that oh the the big fuel tank. Okay, let's see. We're talking about the big generator here. I want to see how this thing gets filled up. So we're gonna take this over here. And we're I'm gonna try it on that front nozzle there. I thought there was a way, I would have swore there used to be a way that you could actually go inside here and just order fuel. But it might be because the um, tablet is broken. So we're gonna try, yeah, right here. Oh my gosh. Twenty-five percent. Well, at least it's fuller than it was when we first started. But that's going to definitely take a couple trips um, of filling that sucker up. All right, off to town we go. Where we will stop, I do not know. We're going we're gonna to stop at the blacksmith. Let's be honest. Um, I need to get another one of the blue, the big fat blue cables. So let's not forget that. Do 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 do. Oh, <laughs> trailer's going wide. You know what? I haven't ch I haven't checked out any of the tires lately. How I don't know how good we're doing on tire um, wear. So we might be getting ready to bust a tire. I don't know. Three days to autumn. So again, um, for those of you guys who know, if you don't know, don't answer, unless you really have to. Um, for those of you guys who know, when I go into winter, I know that I have a certain amount of time to put all of my equipment away. I think that that means, whoops. I think that literally means pick everything up and put it into the, um, wait, let's, let's 30% of 60. Six. Did I just ask myself that? Okay, so 18. So if I leave about 18 ounces, oh, I should have done that after I... <laughs> 
So if I if I had if I leave about 18 ounces, that should be good for the clean. Um, you know, satisfying the claim owner. So I, I'll just do two um, ingots here. So that'll give us about, you know, hopefully up and around the 50,000, 50, a 50, little over 50,000 will be more like 55,000 range, I think. And then I'll be able to go and eat, uh, eat breakfast. Yay! Or cook breakfast. Crap in a hand. Gosh darn it, I forgot the magnetite again. But if we look at um, upgrading time, that's not really a big deal. This one is the big deal. This is what I, I want to go for. And then I think I'm going to do a max after that. Oh, wait. How much is this? Oh, 6,000. <laughs> That'll probably only drop it down to maybe like 3,000 a bar or something. I don't know. There's our other gold bar. So yeah, upgrading that to, to tier two, um, the gold loss, I think will give us 19.5 ounce bars, I hope. All right, so we've got about 20 ounces left. So let's go past the bank. Actually, wait, since we're right here, let's just run in, get the blue cable. Actually, I was going to buy those, the four pump things, weren't I? Wasn't, weren't I? All right, let's go. Oh. <clears throat> so how are the gold price? Oh, they're coming back down. Not by too much, though. Sell gold bars. Still 22,886 each, so almost 22,900. So yeah, 55,000, which is about what I thought we'd have. Refuel. Boom. Blam. All right, so we're all good to go there. So, how much are those four pumps for the duplex jigs going to cost? Here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I can think I really, really need. Now, one of the things. Oh, I should probably. Well, I was, think, I was gonna say I should probably buy some springs. Yeah, look at this. Duplex jig. Look at that. Reinforced duplex jig pumps. I don't know if I'm gonna have. The duplex jig that long for it to matter that much. Now the reinforced wash plants probably glacier creek wash plant wash plant electric and wait reinforced electric engine. Why do I have the feeling that I have something that has that? Gosh. All right. 
let's buy the stuff and then at least we'll have that if something else breaks in the meantime at least we'll have our our cone, our cones of gold catchingness <laughs> um let's let's run past the uh the vehicle shop really quick i have no idea how long this episode is right now but it's probably getting to be in the long it's not hopefully it's not gonna be two hours like it was the last time um Okay, so right now, yeah, that's the trommel that we own. So I kind of want to just go straight up to the gravel pump, but I think a planter is probably going to be in our future. And then also the, well, the reinforced trommel or old Arnold's trommel. Um, maybe we want to save up for this thing. Um, and then here's obviously the Frankenstein. I don't know how much that stretches out. It's pretty freaking long. How much is it to rent? 35,000. Yeah, Pfft, you can forget that. You can forget all about that because that's a bunch of hoopla jupe. I will be happy, I will be more than happy to keep plugging away as I am right now. All right, so off to the magnetite, magnetite, I was like, magnetite, off to the magnetite. I don't know what I was trying to do with my mouth there. I was just getting lazy. Um, yeah, off to the magnetite factory. Is that, a, is that an actual, like, can there be a magnetite factory? I don't know. Now, it's been a long time since I've actually watched the Gold Rush series. I don't have cable TV. I don't believe in paying for it. Um, but whatever. I've not watched Gold Rush in a very long time. But still, I think I've only watched the first two seasons. But still, I, I never once remember them talking about a magnetite separator. The, oh, no. Do you guys remember... I totally don't. I have no memory of that whatsoever. All right, so we've got... Got to get out of my... Wait, way... 3% full. Wow. Wow, almost 2,000. So that was a little over 1,500 magnetite. So yeah, we're going to need like... 35, I, I think before I said we were probably going to need about 35 to 40%, maybe more, maybe like 50% on that magnetite, um, on the magnetite separator, magnetite bucket to, uh, you know, for it to actually get us to where we can do the next upgrade. Because... What is it, like 5,700 or something crazy like that? It's something super crazy like that. All right, so I'm just going to pull these out, and we will be done. So, um, guys and gals, oh, gosh. Guys and gals, who, oh, I see, provision of rent and gold money, 18.14. Um, money spent on rents and then the worker salary. See, we got to get those rent prices down. So, I don't know, maybe on the next cleanup, we can buy... Oh, man. Here's the stuff that I'm trying to buy. Well, no, actually, it would it makes more sense for me to continue working to try to get the... Um, <clears throat> to try to get the... Oh, it's so dark on the claim. No, let's back up.
the next time, probably in the next episode when we do the after we do the cleanup, I'll run into town really quick. Oh, it's so dark and scary. I'll run into town. We'll fill up the um, the big power plant again, and uh, we'll be ready to go. All right, guys. Well, coming in the next episode, we will be basically basically sorry, be doing the same thing. And uh, since everything seems to be in pretty good working order, um, you know we've got. 87 on the trommel chains these guys are at 72 percent um you know we're going to easily be able to do another washout i think uh, without having any problems um, i do need to get some um hydraulic hoses and that i'm actually slightly concerned about let's see if i can uh, jump over to wait Yeah, this guy right here, no. This guy is the only one I'm really kind of concerned about as far as the hydraulic hoses. So let's kind of see what we got. 48%. This one will be 48% too. Oh, 8%. Oh, no. <laughs> we might have a breakage in the next episode. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for me. Um, again, as always, if you enjoyed the video, do not forget to leave a like. It does help me out tremendously. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for this and many more videos. Guys, I am Bradham73. This has been Gold Rush. Thanks again for watching, and bye for now.